Hey everyone, it's Adrienne Thompson and uh, today I wanted to kind of veer off the path I usually travel in these videos and I want to talk to you about entrepreneurship. Um, as a self-published author, um, I basically stumbled into uh, entrepreneurship. Uh, it wasn't uh, something that I had planned to do or even aspired to do, but I loved writing and I chose the self-publishing route for the autonomy. And entrepreneurship kind of goes hand in hand with that once you've made that decision to be a self-published author. Um, I will say that it's been a great thing. I, I enjoy being an entrepreneur. Um, it, there are some risks attached to it, but there are also many benefits. And basically, um, something that's been on my mind that I really want to share with you all is that I feel like um, I just want to encourage you to to really consider entrepreneurship if you never have for your own for yourself in your life and to really encourage your children and by that I mean not necessarily tell them you know push it on them but to make that known as a viable option to them growing up entrepreneurship was given to me as a viable option the only options I was ever taught were to go to college and get a job and work for someone else my whole life and there's nothing wrong with that. Some people, that is what they desire to do, and it's perfectly fine. I was never happy working for other people, and I didn't really understand why until I became an entrepreneur. And that's when I realized that that's what I should have been doing from the beginning, probably. But that was never taught to me. I, I never even saw that as an option for me. And I just want to encourage everyone, if you have children or um, someone that you're mentoring, or even for yourself, that you will keep an open mind and open their minds up to entrepreneurship. Um, you know, the world, well, our country was built on entrepreneurs, you know, from the people in the trading post in the old west, you know, to the little mom, mom and pop, you know, you know, nickel and dime stores. That's all entrepreneurship. So it is actually an American legacy and there's just nothing wrong with it. Um, but I think I know speaking as an African-American that uh, for a long time, people and in, in people in my culture saw working a nine to five, working for someone else as uh, security, as job security. And in this economy, that is just no longer the case. There's just no such thing as a secure job. I mean, I know I was reading where they had laid off some teachers like late last year. They closed the school down, laid off some teachers because of funding. And that was one job that one would think was a secure job. And it's, there's just no such thing anymore. And I think it is very, very important for us to teach the younger generation about creating their own jobs. I think that is just, that is, you know, just vital. We've got to do that. And I just wanted to encourage you, like I said, especially if you have children, or you know nieces or nephews or anyone younger than you whose ear you have that you can influence in some way to at least uh, show them that that's an option you know they can still go to school they can still get an education but they can be their own boss they can, they can be the creator of jobs and I just think that that needs to be taught and I don't believe it's being taught enough I know it wasn't taught to me it's you know like I said I stumble upon it and I love it and I wish I had seen it as a viable option in my younger days I just I just didn't but I am teaching my children um, well two of them are grown but I, I have had you know uh, conversations with them about this and my youngers my youngest daughter who's 16 um, I talk to her about it all the time if I go to an event for small business owners or entrepreneurs I always take her and I oh and I and the greatest thing I see is other entrepreneurs taking their kids who are even younger than my daughter who are like ten or eight, and I think it's important that they see, you know, people who are successful or people who have failed. You know, I think the biggest thing with entrepreneurship is so many people are afraid of failing that they don't want to spread the word about it. They only want to consider it. And the way I look at it is, you know, you, you, there's a risk of failure in everything. There's a risk of failure in applying for a job at a at a established business because you may not get the job you may go through the rigors of interviewing and um, I know I applied for jobs in years back where I, there were a series of interviews and I did a series of interviews I was called back a few times and I still didn't get the job so in getting that job I failed you know 
So um, there's always the risk of failure, but there's also the chance of success. And, you know, that's, that's just what I wanted to share today is, you know, nothing, at least anything uh, profound, but uh, it's just been on my mind and I felt like I, you know, I have this platform, so I felt like I would share it. And I hope you take it to heart, especially if you have children or you have influence over um, children or you are a mentor over someone. Just, you know, make sure they know that that's a viable option. You know, I, I just did not know. I had that. It never crossed my mind that I could be an entrepreneur or I could have my own business. And it wasn't that I was a very good student. I was an A student. But because I was an A student, everybody thought, okay, well, you're going to go to medical school or you're going to be a lawyer. And that's fine. But there's so many more options. You know, you, you, there's nothing wrong with being smart and being creative and owning your own business. And that's just what I want to share today. So, uh, you know, um, I think my motivation for today will be don't be afraid to dream. Don't be afraid to step out on faith and take chances and don't be afraid to to take a chance at failing because you also are taking a chance at succeeding. Until later, be blessed.